Okay, so before this video starts, uh, there's gonna be another, uh, cut in like this, right after this part of the video, right, by the way, where I say, oh, right before this video starts or whatever, but this is being recorded the day that I'm going to upload this video, this part right here. Um, I would like to say that, you know, I recorded this video the day that, uh, Holy Horror Mansion was announced. And the reason why that's important is because there's been a lot of stuff going around about AI usage within this trailer. And, you know, Holy Horror Mansion overall using AI for all, if, like, you know, almost every background, pretty much. And so, you know, it's become a big deal. It's been talked about a lot. A lot of people are disappointed. And I want to say I will not be going over that stuff in this video because when I recorded this video, since it was like three hours after the trailer came out, I didn't know any of this was happening. So please forgive me on that. If you guys want, I'll probably end up making a video talking about the AI stuff in a future video. But for now, I just want to release this video because I've been kind of lazy and didn't want to, you know, record the background footage and stuff for it yet. Because, you know, welcome to being lazy, but... You know, I'm gonna go do that stuff right after I record this part. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll make an AI, like, I'll make a video talking about the AI stuff uh, at a later date. Okay, I just wanna mention quickly before this video starts, I called it uh, Holly Horror Mansion instead of Holy Horror Mansion throughout this entire video, like an idiot. So please bear with me mispronouncing the game's name every single time I say it. <laughs> Because listen, I, I just got up when I recorded this video, okay? I just woke up, please bear with me here. But uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Yo, so what is up guys? I thought I would make this video discussing this because, uh, you know, I'm a big Yokai Watch fan. I thought it'd be fun to talk about this and my thoughts on it. But uh, yeah, let's just get straight into this. So, um, Ghostcraft, or what we know now is called Holly Horror Mansion, was just announced today. And I have seen some people not have the nicest things to say about it. A lot of people are upset that it's not, you know, really Yokai Watch, but it's like its own original thing. And honestly, I can't really blame them too much because I, I feel kind of bittersweet about this announcement, okay? I don't think the announcement was bad. I don't think it was like, even mid, I, I think it was really good. I'm really excited for this game. But what I mean by bittersweet is I feel like this game not being directly a part of the Yokai Watch IP could possibly confirm that Yokai Watch is done, which is really sad to think about. But when you think about it, I mean, I forgot his name, but the guy that was announcing it, he he said this is going to be like a massive like multimedia platform thing or whatever, like the biggest one to date. And that's something that makes me think, like, this is the new Yokai Watch. Like, I, I think this is the new Yokai Watch. This is not just Yokai Watch 5 or something. Th this is like its own original spiritual successor to Yokai Watch, right? I like to, like, when I've always thought of Ghostcraft before really knowing what it was, well, now it's Poly Horror Mansion, but you know. <laughs> Whenever I thought about that game, when it was originally teased a while ago, I like to compare it to Rain Code in a way, where it's like a spiritual successor to, you know, Yokai Watch, kind of like how Rain Code was a spiritual successor to Danganronpa, and it had a lot of stuff from Danganronpa thrown in there, but at the same time, it was its own original game, with its own original themes and plot and all of that, right? And even a lot of original mechanics. And it was like, you know, a Danganronpa successor is what you could call Rain Code. But at the end of the day, it was still its own game. It was a new IP and it did its own thing, you know? And it did it very well, in my opinion. And that's what I've always thought about this game when it was teased a while ago. I always thought it'd be a similar situation to Rain Code, or maybe it would be a completely new, like, new type of situation here, where it actually is Yokai Watch 5. Like, we didn't really know anything about what this game would really be. And now that we know, and they showed in the trailer, they made sure to specify this is, like, the next concept for Yokai Watch or whatever. They they made sure to specify that, which I think, guys, it's so sad to say as, like, a, yo as like a diehard Yokai Watch fan. Ah, oh, this game, 
Oh my god, Yokai Watch is probably gone. I, I, like, my personal theory is that this is meant to be our new Yokai Watch. And it's so sad to think about it, but I think it's meant to be a nice, fresh restart. Because think about all the complications they'd have to go through if they wanted to make Yokai Watch 5. We know that stuff happened with COVID that caused, like, Level 5's localization branches to shut down and stuff for a while, which screwed with a lot. But think about it. If they wanted to make Holly Horror Mansion, Yokai Watch 5, right? Like, if this was, like, a part of the Yokai Watch IP, you know, Nate was back, we had, like, you know, Whisper and Jibana. If they wanted to make this your traditional Yokai Watch game and make it the fifth installment in the main series, there would be a problem with that. And problem number one is the fact that, uh, you know, they, they have to port over, since the 3DS is officially like a dead system, because everything's been shut down on it, they would have to port over Yokai Watch 1, 2, and 3, right, on the Switch. Now, I know Yokai Watch 1 already has a port, but that hasn't been localized. So on top of porting Yokai Watch 2 and 3, they have to localize all three of them, make sure all three of them are out everywhere, right? And it's not just in Japan. Then on top of that, they have to localize Yokai Watch 4, because if this was officially Yokai Watch 5, it would be very stupid to not give us 4 and finally just localize that real quick. I know it takes a while to localize something, but you know what I mean. Like, it would be weird if they, like, just said, okay, we're just gonna give you Yokai Watch 5, but no Yokai Watch 4 for you guys, because we never localized it. And then they call it Yokai Watch 4 over here or something. That would be, like, screwed. A part of me thought that if this was going to be Yokai Watch 5, that the reason why, you know, we got the name teased Ghostcraft or whatever, or like the IP or whatever was Ghostcraft, I thought the reason why it would be called that is because they were going to stop numbering the games, because they were never going to localize 4. So, you know, it would be a thing where they wouldn't localize 4, and this game for everybody outside of Japan, it would be treated like the fourth game, but it wouldn't be called 4 to prevent confusion for fans that know about 4 in Japan. So it's not like a Mario Bros. 2 situation in a way, I guess. But, you know, I think you guys know what I mean. And so, the fact that this is its new IP, I think it's meant to be a fresh restart for this game. That's what I think this is supposed to be. Because... Like I said, when you think about it, it's going to be very complicated to just, like, drop Yokai Watch 1 through 3 on Switch, right? That's going to be a mess already. Especially since Yokai Watch 1 is already ported to Switch, but it's not localized. And I highly doubt they're going to localize it, even though I think that would be very easy to, because it's just a remaster of the 3DS version. So they could just take the dialogue that was already translated, but you know, I digress. Point being, they're probably not going to localize the Yokai Watch 1 port that's out in Japan. If they do, I will be pleasantly surprised. And then on top of that, they still need to port Yokai Watch 2 and 3 to Switch and make that localized as well. So it's all around the world, right? So everybody has access to it. Then finally, on top of that, they'd have to localize Yokai Watch 4. <laughs> so, like, you see the problem. It's. It, I think it would just be way too complicated for them to, you know, go after Yokai Watch again. They have a lot of stuff they need to do for that to work. And that's why I don't really blame them for going with this approach. Yeah, it makes me sad that Yokai Watch is probably. probably finally, you know, over. Like, this, I think, means, in a way, unless it's confirmed later or confirmed otherwise by, you know, level 5 themselves. I think this might be, like, the end of Yokai Watch. I think Yokai Watch might be over, and this is going to take its place. Of course, I mean that in a good way, but it's just... Man, is it sad. It really is sad, because this is a game I grew up with. I love Yokai Watch, and seeing it take this new step, it's definitely bittersweet, because yes, while it is a new game, finally, and we're going to probably get it localized day of release, because we know that's level 5's new thing now, where they're going to actually localize everything day of release, I think. While that is the case, it is still sad to see, because at the end of the day, it's not Yokai Watch, it's Holly Horror Mansion. <laughs> you know? It's its own game, and it's doing its own thing. 
Think about like how Danganronpa fans must have felt with Rain Code, right? They saw Rain Code, they got excited for it, me included, but they realized, you know, it's kind of bittersweet because it's it's not Danganronpa. It's still a really cool game that's clearly meant to be a successor, but it's not Danganronpa. You know what I mean? And regardless, it's not like that held Rain Code back. Not at all. If you saw my opinions on that game, oh my god, you would know that I did not think that held it back at all. I thought it worked pretty well the way they did things, but... When it comes down to this game, it's definitely going to be sad to see in, a, in like a little bit, you know? It's going to be a little sad to see because this game, like I said many times already, I, I really do think this might mean the death of Yokai Watch. That, like, the original IP Yokai Watch is going to get no more content. We're not going to see any more games localized. Basically, this makes me think that Yokai Watch as an IP is over and that Holly Horror Mansion slash ghostcraft whatever you want to call it is going to be the new game you know it's going to be the new ip that we're gonna get a bunch of games on we're probably he mentioned multimedia project or whatever something like that and so i'm assuming that could mean shows and stuff like that if he means multimedia like tv shows movies just like what they did with yokai watch probably merch as well like all these different things you know and so i think you i think you get what i mean it's more of a bittersweet thing for me to think about i don't know how you guys feel about it let me know down in the comments but it just makes me a little sad inside because it's like man it's such a great step for yokai watch though to move on to something new to try a new concept you know and hey from the way that it looks, I think this is going to be a good game. I know I've seen people complaining, but I think we just have to, like, I guess, snap back to reality here. And, you know, we have to accept that this is the new Yokai Watch. We have to accept that. It's, it's very hard to accept. I'm not judging anybody for being upset about it. Not at all. I'm not judging anybody because I feel the same way. But I feel like we have to accept that this is going to be the like spiritual successor to Yokai Watch. It's not Yokai Watch. It is Holly Horror Mansion, and we have to kind of just we have to live with that, you know. We have to because, like I said, this could be an amazing game, and they really hyped it up, like you know, multimedia project or whatever he said, right? Something along those lines. That probably means it's going to get the same treatment as Yokai Watch. We're going to get multiple games. We're going to get, like, we're gonna probably going to get a TV show or a movie. Sorry about that there. My audio cut out. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's probably going to get the same treatment as Yokai Watch. And it's going to be hard to accept for a lot of people. And it's hard to accept for me as well. This is not something that I'm just going by here without thinking about the fact that it's not really yokai watch i'm not like i'm not one of those people that's just like oh my god but it's yokai watch so i don't care and it's like similar like no i also feel sad that this is like not really yokai watch i also feel really sad about that but like i said i think something a lot of people got to realize is hey what's done is done with this right Yokai Watch, I think, is over, and this is meant to be the spiritual successor to Yokai Watch. And I think that we have to all accept that, and we have to give this game a chance, okay? Now, if the game ends up being complete dog water and it's like the worst thing ever, okay. Obviously, we're allowed to criticize it. I'm not saying don't criticize the game when it comes out. They're going to release more games, most likely, if they're giving it the same treatment as Yokai Watch. So the criticism would be very good, because that means that if the first game's not really the best... The second game could be amazing with them using the criticism. Of course, criticize the game when it comes out. I think that's a great idea. If there's a lot of things wrong with it. Or if anything wrong with it, really criticize it, you know? But I'm not saying we shouldn't criticize it. I'm saying we need to give it a chance. We cannot, like, we can't see, you know, a little teaser of cutscenes and a tiny bit of gameplay and then say this game's going to be bad. Like, we can't do that. I know it's making a lot of people upset, me included, that it's not actually Yokai Watch and that it's a successor instead. But we have to give it a chance because this successor could end up being better than Yokai Watch. You never know. 
Like, they could end up making this game so much fun. They could make this game better than Yokai Watch, for all we know. Like, they have that, like, opportunity. They really do. And so I think we have to give them a chance. We cannot just disregard this and say, oh, well, it's not Yokai Watch technically, so, um, it's just gonna be bad, not copying, not buying, like, no, no. Like, we have to give this game a shot. We cannot just throw it out the window because it doesn't say the words Yokai Watch in the title. This game has a chance to be its own unique thing, and that's why a part of me is excited for it. And, you know, there's the other part of me that's a little sad, because it's like, dang, well, there goes Yokai Watch, but at the same time, we got this new game here that, for all we know, could be better than Yokai Watch ever was. So we have to give it a chance. But, uh, yeah, I think that's really all I want to say. I do want to bring this up before I end this video. I am going to be Let's Playing Yokai Watch 3, hopefully starting sometime in December. Because as you guys know, I haven't actually beaten 3 yet. And I've already Let's Played 1 and 2 this year. So you know, since I haven't beaten 3 yet on my own time either, just like the other two, I'm going to be Let's Playing that hopefully around like mid-December. Maybe early December if Brothership gets done quick, like, you know, quicker than expected. But yeah, I will be Let's Playing Yokai Watch 3 uh, in the near future, so stay tuned for that if you want to see me play through that game and actually beat it for the first time. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for Ghostcraft. The whole thing feels a little bittersweet, but like I said, I think at the end of the day, we got to give this a shot. We can't just dismiss it. We got to give it a shot because it could end up being better or on par with Yokai Watch. And I think we have to just... We have to let them see this through. We have to let them cook, as they say, you know? We have to let them do their thing and hope that this game will be the best that it can be. Bye.